hospital, you know, right. and a lot of people are interested about how, what happened there and uh, uh, experiences and so forth. So I, I was able have to these take... these photos been seen before? No. No. No, these pictures have not been seen before. <laughs> And they're just some pictures I took personally and had oh. them blown up at the hospital. Maybe worth a fortune for a magazine, but you were nice enough to bring them here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Probably hoping to get a couple of laughs. Uh, well, that's, you know, that's, that's it. Uh, out of sickness comes laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Think Balzac first. Balzac? Like Balzac. Right. Is that. Uh, for example, you have to watch the monitors here. Uh, I thought at first my arrival at the hospital... Uh, <laughs> had created quite a stir, but I found out these patients were waiting for the uh, laundry truck to return from two years ago. <laughs> Actually taken at the hospital. Now, the hospital encourages you to take an active part in your recovery. Here, a group of patients giving each other a gang sponge bath. <laughs> this, this woman here was down the hall from me. She was the donor. She was the donor in the world's first waste transplant. <laughs> a little known surgery that was, uh, was discovered, I think, in uh, Bulgaria in 1946. This was, this was one of their paramedics at the hospital. And if, uh, if you're unconscious, you know how he revives you? He blows in your ear. <laughs> weird, weird, weird. Let's see what this is. These were Siamese twins who were joined at the hat. <laughs> I think the first, uh, first case Please of that ever happened. Twins joined at the hat. Uh, now here in the hospital are two of the lady volunteers in the cafeteria <laughs> learning what to do if somebody complains about the jello. Yeah. <laughs> now this patient was in a special ward for men who suffer cardiac arrest while wearing bad sport shirts. <laughs> this, is, this is Dr. Laszlo. Uh, he was a uh, medical researcher seen here with his worst invention, the walk-in bedpan. <laughs> These are fascinating, aren't they, folks? <laughs> Right here in the maternity ward, I took these. Here's a baby smoking a cigar to celebrate his own birth. Very unusual. Very unusual. Of course it is. I didn't say these were usual. If these were usual, <laughs> you why show sorry. them? I wouldn't show these. The man on the right was admitted to the emergency ward. His hand had accidentally become glued to the back of an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> and uh, they went in there for removal of that. <laughs> This was the first known instance of a doctor holding himself up. <laughs> not, all per not all pearls, folks. The zircon, you know, finds its way. This man here asked his family if they would pull the plug so he, he could be allowed to perspire with dignity. <laughs> And only out here in California, this is a, uh, a Beverly Hills dog who was uh, in for an operation to have his ears reduced. <laughs> <laughs> this poor man here had contacted Broderick Crawford's disease, <laughs> which, will, which will soon rob him of his ability to say 10-4. And here's a patient standing on the most feared piece of hospital equipment, the Dodge Suppository. <laughs> and actually, before I came back, I had to have some other surgery because the doctors got the patients mixed up and performed actually the wrong operation on me. And that's... <laughs>